All right, so to start with this, we're going to start with trying to find the dysfunction for this. So we're gonna use motion for patient. So I'll have my patient in a chair with a back on it with their feet flat on the floor. So I'm gonna contact the top of their head and slightly press down, but not much, just rotating and then over pressuring on each joint, checking to see if there's any restriction in it. And you can do this for both rotation, I would do that on the other side, and you can also do it for lateral flexion. And you can do that on the other side. So let's say that there was a restriction, or there was a right rotation of C3 with a left rotation restriction. So from there, I'm gonna go into a seated cervical adjustment. So I'll keep the patient in the chair with the back on it, feet flat on the floor. I'm going to stand behind my patient off to the side of the adjustment. I'm gonna use my DIP of my contact hand on C3. I'm gonna have the patient rest their head into my hand. Sometimes they get more tight in a seated position. I'm gonna use a modified and different hand one since it was a rotated and not laterally flexed. I'm gonna have it more straight up the um, side of the face, making sure not to press too hard on the ears or anything like that. Have them rest their hand head into my hand, walk around my work, make sure I'm getting into a um, spot where I can do the adjustment more efficiently. Once I have them in lateral flexion, have them relaxed, I'm going to then rotate them, get them to lock out, and then deliver the thrust P to A with my contact hand while also assisting it with my different hand.